Oh, hi, Kim. So you're getting ready to do your reading? Okay. Four of Cups fell out as I was shuffling, getting ready here, but we're going to put it back in. All right. So I'm going to ask the universe for a message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Okay. Ooh, he just kind of slid off there. Someone's spying, keeping an eye on you. Hmm. Are you keeping an eye on someone? I guess it could be you. Oh, the Nine of Coins under there. Oh, no. Where'd she go? It's like when you're out in your yard. Oh, someone has secret love. Is that what I'm seeing? I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I know I kind of started like just all over the place, didn't I? Could be a king of coin. Could be an earth sign or somebody who business, money, um, investing, investments is what I'm getting. I'm getting this person focuses a lot on their money, business, you know, uh, nice home, nice car. Uh, and they have like the whole, you know, to retirement fund going. Really nice grounded energy, down to earth, likes family, has a few friends. So there's secret love here though. Seven of Swords is my I like you, but I'm not really letting you know card. And then they're watching you. So what I was saying was initially I saw the Nine of Coins and then I started shuffling. But it makes me think of someone who's in their yard, their front yard. So this could be around your home. It doesn't have to be, you know, a work situation. It could be almost anywhere, you know, where you must go there multiple times. but. The same per the same people or person is there watching you and they could see you i get to maybe talk to this person i think you've done some small talk with this person again you could already be dating this person i mean you could be have gone out for a little while now it's also what i'm picking up so okay so yeah somebody is wondering about this connection with you I think somebody has big ideas, like someone is ready for a commitment. They want commitment, but they're just not quite sure of the Seven of Cups. They may not know exactly how you're feeling or this might be also a bachelor, like somebody who maybe was once married and divorced or widowed or something and now they're kind of good on their own is also what I'm picking up that Seven of Cups. Okay. Let me see. Justice in the page of wands. So this person may make contact coming up here and tell you exactly how they're feeling. Hierophant's under the deck. So I, you know what I feel like this person's gonna do? Like just kind of like be very blunt, Justice, page of wands. Just kind of say what they're thinking. And they, I feel like this person asks serious questions. So if you talk to this person, they ask a lot of questions and they kind of just look at you when you answer them is kind of what I'm feeling. They're very direct, very straightforward. Most of the time. I don't know. You might make them nervous, though, they're saying. They're saying, no, they, they might make this person a little nervous compared to other times, how they normally are. This could be somebody who, you know, talks for a living. The speaking engagements. Could be um, a lawyer who, you know, goes to court. Could be a professor, possibly, or also um, someone who just likes to talk, too, I'm getting. They might not do it for a living, but I just get kind of like they like to talk to the neighbors. They like to just to chat with people. So they're, they're, they seem to be outgoing and friendly. I am picking up that this person might have been widowed. This could also be a death, a death of a child, unfortunately. They may have had um, something serious in their past. You might not know about this. It could be a death of a relationship that happened suddenly. Something, something uh, that has really affected this person. But yeah, it is over. They're past that. Okay, we have the sun under here. I'm not picking up their, their Scorpio. I'm not picking that up at all with that death card. They could be a Libra, maybe even a Gemini. But I'm getting something about their past has molded them to the person they are, and it's really helped them see. Like, they are somebody who's ascended. They've, done, they've definitely done some inner work, and they have done some ascension, and they're... Not like a lot of other people. Look, yeah, they've done a lot of reflecting. They've done a lot of truth seeking. So you may be able to talk to this person about, you know, spiritual matters, um, things like that. I feel like they have a lot of wisdom. And they have a deep sense of caring because of a death. And again, it could be a death of a child that was you know, tragic or maybe even their ex, or they may have had a death that broke them and their ex up. That's what I'm picking up for some somebody, but 
They like to look at, um, like, they like to analyze, they, they like history for some, not most, but there's a few that, they're like, they're history buffs, but they like to analyze things. So, how do they feel about you, though? Let me go to the lovers. I'm getting, so I'm picking up, you guys may have spoken for a while now, and they're getting to know you, and they're very intrigued by you. You know, it's, start, it's, it's like small talk, it's like chatting, it's like just little, little conversations here and there that are just meant to be friendly but they're starting to think about you more as I'm picking up, starting to look for you more, starting to wonder about you more, wondering about the connection the two of you share as I'm picking up with the lovers. Let me put a card on the lovers. Okay, so, but they're worrying because I do get a sense that this person, again, like I said, may be like, they may feel like I'm an official bachelor or bachelorette. Um, I, my career is huge or, and that's, that's all I want to focus on. Again, they might be a litigator or something, but they also somebody that they may have had something again tragic, not necessarily death, but something that they they're searching for the truth. They want to share the truth. They want to help other people. So that's what I'm getting. Also, they could be, you know, in the field of law. But I feel like now that they're kind of getting to know you, they're questioning everything. I feel like they're thinking about you more and more. Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, daydreaming about the two of you. And now they're kind of like getting off track and this, this isn't what they wanted. They did not want to have feelings for another person is what I'm picking up. What is the Two of Cups? High Priestess, listen to their, listening to their intuition or they're being nudged by, you know, a universal, universal force or something. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer, but there's kind of like a silent knowing with her though, right? She's just, she's just looking, she's not talking. So I do feel like they're being drawn to you. And again, there may be some spiritual help helping the two of you because like this, this angel has like hands out there, like they're trying to shove the two of you together, right? Like, here you go, you guys belong together. What is it about this connection that this person is seeing? What is it about this connection that this person is starting to see? Okay, so they're, okay, we don't like that. <laughs> okay, so, I. They probably had some bad experience before in a relationship with the devil showing up. Okay, I'm picking up a couple of things now, actually, as I'm talking. Okay, first thing that came up was there was probably codependencies in some other relationship they have had. So that's maybe the first thing that crosses their mind. They don't want to get tied down because, again, this person might travel a lot for work, something like that. Or they just like to work a lot, like I said. Or they got, you know, into a relationship where they kind of lost their independence. They lost their identities, what I'm feeling. But then with the Ace of Cups coming out, as you can see, this is where it's going. The more conversations you have, the more they're starting to fall for you, the more they have feelings for you also. They could be a Capricorn. I do feel this could definitely be a Capricorn, but um, they could also, or this, their moon's Capricorn, but there could also be some passion. The devil can you know, show up as passion. And again, it's starting to kind of de derail them in a sense. Like it's getting them off track is what they're saying. And they weren't planning for this. They're saying that they do look for you. They start looking for you, looking for you more and more is what they're saying. Hmm. A secret mission. Something's coming through. This person has a secret mission. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's you. I don't know what that means, but it's kind of like, I don't know, James Bond or something came through 007. Maybe they like those movies. Maybe they like, that character, uh, I can't think of his name. I can picture him. He just passed away too. All right, that's getting off. That is getting off track. Where are we going? Okay, how else do they feel about you? How else do they feel about you? The sun. Oh my goodness, and the emperor. I always say, if someone views you as the sun, it's probably the best thing because it's bright, it's fresh, it's happy, it's fun, it's upbeat, it's everything good in the deck, right? So they're seeing a new beginning with you. They're seeing possibilities could be grown here. So then they also could see you very strong, very confident. Again, I feel like this could be also their energy. They could have a lot of wisdom. They look very powerful though, sitting next to the sun. So I feel like when they're with you, there's this feeling of confidence. Or like they feel like the two of you could, could be more confident together or like you could tackle more or you make them happy. You make them happy, okay. Yeah, Three of Cups. You make them happy again. There was a loss in this person's life that really did affect them. And 
they've kind of buried it and they maybe that's what I'm seeing. They don't want to be happy again or they're afraid to be happy again. So they buried themselves in work. But you bring that out again. You bring that sun out. You bring that three of cups out, that happiness, that fun. You make them feel powerful and strong as well, which is a good thing and confident. But they see you this way also. They like the conversations they're saying again. You may have already been going out with this person for drinks or dates or something like that, but um, or you will be, or they're thinking about that with you. Where is this going to go? Can you show me where this could head? Where this could head? Relationship. Okay. Wow. So they've made up their mind, or they're going to make up their mind. So this is that sadness I keep talking about that they had given up, I think, on love. They weren't going to try again, but they've made up their mind. The two of coins is in reverse. So to me, I read that as I've made up my mind. I had two choices. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you that coin. I'm going to give you the choice, manifesting magicians under the deck. Wow, so I would expect this to go someplace. This is actually really good. Let me see. Uh, let me go to this card. Just this deck I mean let me pull a card from this deck and see what they're saying this could start out slow might also be the knight of coins keep that in mind it has a little bit of a smaller in fact they were going to put this on the back burner is what they said they were going to that's another message that's coming through they were going to like discard it or get rid of it or just not worry about it or you know that like I feel like okay, there was a conversation where they kind of like okay and they, they left and then they had to go on a trip or something and they were like, okay, that's that's done. I'm not going to revisit. But they couldn't. They keep coming back around, keep coming back around to you, keep thinking about you. They're being haunted a little bit, but in a good way. Okay, what can you tell us about this situation? I hear them saying, oh no, why did this happen again? I think they've caught feelings. Meaning they've caught feelings, not you, but you may have already also. Okay, so the phoenix. So a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. So this could be their card. I mean, of course this could be you, but it does feel like this person is changing. It's a new phase. They want this again. They want love again. This could be how you feel also though. What else? Might be, no, I don't feel it's a Scorpio. Sometimes the Phoenix, I think, I don't know. I think sometimes they, do they represent Scorpio as the Phoenix rising from the ashes or is that just in general for all signs? But I don't get it as a Scorpio. Could be, but I don't get that strongly. Okay, and heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together, and perfect. I think this person feels like you are perfect in a sense. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Open your heart. Well, I think you have the key to this person's heart is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's you. And... Um, I don't think they were expecting this. I think you kind of lit, lit this person on fire in a good way. You have brought passion and excitement back to their life. Again, for some of you, if, if this could be just budding, like just beginning, you may be at this phase here where it's like the seven of swords, there's glances, there's looks, there's wondering, there's feelings, intuition. You may not even be down here yet, but this is where it could definitely head. For some of you, This definitely could be someone that you are meeting if you are getting over a past relationship and you are still, you know, coming out of the ashes and ready to get back out there, ready to date, meet somebody new. This could be coming in for you. So it just depends on your timeline. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I'm going to pick up. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it here. That's all that's really coming through for this person. I'm trying to feel if I actually extend it or not. I feel like we just had a beautiful reading. We could go deeper and see what else shows up. So I might, let me channel a little bit between takes. And if I decide to extend it, I'll put the link below. And if not, there won't be a link. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And I will talk to you soon.